What is up, y'all? I'm Ben Jamming Outdoors, and this is my channel. Welcome back y'all. So today we're actually working on the S1000 again. So I actually purchased a gas tank because the one that came on the bike was really destroyed. It had a really good dents in it and I really didn't want to try to repair it. I found one on eBay for $130 shipped after taxes. So it was really hard to beat that. I was like, I'll just paint it myself. So we got it in the mail and now let's start sanding it down so we can actually paint it the right color. So now we're going to take the new tank and sand down all the small imperfections and just scuff the entire paint job and so I can lay primer down and it'll hear nicely. So the imperfections on this tank, I got sanded down and I'm gonna to try to blend it in with the areas around it with some filler primer in all these three spots and then come back and sand over it. Hopefully will give us a really nice even look. And then I'm gonna go over with the regular primer over the whole thing and then I'll obviously base coat, then clear coat. But first I'm gonna wipe it down with some prep all. There was also one tiny dent up here. I'm gonna to try to spray this pretty heavy. So hopefully I'll be able to sand it down and try to get rid of that small dent without having to put any type of Bondo on it. This paint is kind of old, so I'm going to shake it up really, really well. I don't know how well this is going to mix in here. Hopefully it goes well. I'm going to do 40 milliliters of reducer. Shake it up. She's ready to pour in the gun. I think I resolved my issue, so... So I'm painting these tanks again, and I've coated the S1000 tank with black twice, and neither came out great. So I sent it down with some 320, to get a really good even coat and it should be good to paint now but i'm going to paint both the jigsaw and the s1000 tank with the high dollar primer that i purchased and hopefully like do a light sanding and get it perfect and then start with the actual color the base coat because i don't have much more black so i need to use it wisely so i need to make sure the coating the obviously the entire tank is perfect before i even put the base on so I'm gonna mix it up good. This is four parts primer and one part the hardener. I'm gonna put my mask on, my PPE. That one, that one's done. So I just primed the S1000 tank again. Um, I already painted it black twice and neither time came out well. Um, you can still see imperfections where I sanded, so I sanded it all very well with 320 and I'm hoping after this prime job, um, I can sand it down lightly, get all the high spots off, and then hopefully spray some black again and be done with it and then go to clear with the flake in it and all that kind of stuff. I can feel it, it's really smooth over here. 
I got it pretty smooth, like a baby's bottom. So I'm actually using a mason jar now to mix up my paint. It's actually got measurements on the side and it's easy to clean out because I don't have another way to measure the paint out and mix it because I broke my beaker. I mixed up around two ounces, a little bit over two ounces. Let's see how much that gets me. So I have some imperfections in this black base coat, so I'm gonna use some high grit, in this case 3000, and I'm gonna wet sand it and hopefully try to get this looking like glass. Looks like matte black. I think I'm gonna clear it like that. So I'm about ready to get this tank ready to spray the first round of clear coat. I sanded it down with 3000 grit. Um, it is like matte black, but that's gonna be fine because the clear coat is gonna make it shine. So I'm gonna mix up some clear. I'm actually gonna put some metal flakes in it too. So I'm having to use the 1.7 tip. I don't typically use a gun this size because it's overkill really for this size item. Typically I use my small sprayer, but I don't think that tip was adequate to spray the metal flake. So I'm gonna have to change it up a little bit. I'm gonna wipe it down with prep oil, then we're gonna spray it. But the only imperfections in this tank is this little white specks in here. I don't know how that got in there, but I mean with the metal flake, I think you shouldn't really be able to see that. So I'm pretty sure this is four to one ratio. So I'm going to mix four parts, the clear coat and then the hardener into the clear bottle. And then I'm going to put a dab of metal flakes in this one. And if I like the amount, then I'll leave it that way and do a couple more coats of clear. If I think it needs some more, I'm going to add a second coat of clear with the flake, then do a third and fourth, potentially fifth coat of clear, just regular clear, no flake in it so I can have room to cut and make this thing smooth as glass. Just a pinch of metal flakes. Now I'm gonna shake it up. It doesn't look like many flakes, so I'm probably gonna put more on next go round. Looks good though, but it needs a whole lot more metal flakes. So I let it sit for a few minutes and it's hard enough to lay another coat of clear. So I'm going to add a lot more metal flakes in it this time. So hopefully it covers pretty thoroughly. Then I'm gonna add a good bit of metal flakes. Glittery, 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 glittery. Look at that. So it's night number two. I'm gonna try to put some more flake over on this side and limit what I put on over here.
so I'm wet sanding the tank right now, getting all the runs out, and it looks like I got them out. And uh, of course the tank has got water on it, so it looks better than it actually does. I've only gone up to 800 grit, but I'm going to work my way up to probably two or 3,000. Um, I may do another coat of clear, but I've already done plenty of coats, I think, because um, I haven't actually ate into any of the flakes yet. So I laid two coats, actually three coats, with the flake on it. And then I did like two or three coats of clear without the flake in it. So I've been able to sand the entire tank down, get it really smooth, and still not touch the flake, which is good. But I still might do one or two more coats of clear. I think that was part of my problem. Some of these bubbles are from me shaking it up. So I have to let it settle for a little bit before I can pour it in there. That was my biggest issue, I think. I'm fighting like air bubbles. So I just laid another coat and I stirred the paint instead of shook it and I also switched guns. This is the 1.4 tip instead of the 1.7. I had to use the 1.7 to spray this flake, but I should have switched after that for the last few coats of clear. Um, Cause it was just putting way too much clear coat out. Like I got runs on this side again. So I have to sand this side down, but I'm going to spray maybe two or three more coats tonight um, as it sits and then I'll sand off the runs later because I have plenty of clear coat to be able to sand those runs off and then polish it out. So I'm just gonna lay a few more, like I said, and then I'll polish it out later. But it's looking pretty good. Up here, the top looks great. The side is a little wavy because it laid a little bit too much, but overall it looks pretty good. So I actually went on vacation and I just got back last night. So the tank has been sitting for a few days and I'm about to wet sand it. So obviously it's in the sun, but there is some dribbles. I actually started scraping off some of the dribbles, some of the runs um, before I left for the trip. So some of the really high spots are gone, but I'm going to just sand down the really high spots and then there is some like bubbles, kind of. So I'm gonna sand just the overall whole thing really, really well. Um, and then hopefully I'll be able to buff and polish it and make it look just tremendous. So I am sanding it down, I just dried it off and I see some low spots still. So like right here, that is a low spot. All those what look like wet spots are low spots still. So I'm going to sand that down some more to try to get this all an even coat. Over here, I got the runs out, but I still think I have some like air bubbles in there that are in like a couple coats below, which is frustrating. I guess I should have, once it ran, I should have stopped, let it harden, sanded it, and then just made sure it didn't run before, because I coated on top of the runs. Anyway, I'm going to finish sanding this over here, then do 1,000, 1,500, then 3,000, and then hit it with some 3M rubbing compound, and then scratch remover, and so it should look gorgeous when I'm done. So it's looking pretty good. I've sanded with 800, 1,000, 1,500, and now I'm going to hit it with 2,500 and 3,000. Then after that, I can hit it with the rubbing compound and then the scratch remover. So I went all the way up to 3,000 grit, and it's actually starting to kind of get a gloss finish back. So it looks pretty good. Can't really see any scratches, which is awesome. So I should be able to buff the rest out with 
my new buffer that I purchased today. So I'm actually gonna sit the tank on the bike so it's nice and sturdy so I can polish it up. So I got these two 3M products. I'm going to start out with the rubbing compound which is a little bit more aggressive and then I'm going to work up to the scratch remover and it should make a really, really nice polish. And I just bought this dual action polisher. Um, I had a coupon, it was like 70 bucks and got it for like 50 bucks, so pretty good deal. And then I got a, like I think a four inch disc set because I don't want to use the six inch because it's kind of large. So I'm going to start out with the rubbing compound on this one and then I'll move to the scratch remover with this one, I think. I'm going to start on a pretty low setting because you don't want to generate too much heat. So when I polished it, it did make a difference, but it's not a massive difference. So I'm going to just go ahead and start polishing the entire thing with the same method, and then I may get a better um, compound tomorrow probably. But anyway, not super happy so far with the bubbles or whatever is in here. Very not happy with that, but I may have to deal with that because I really don't want to have to paint the whole thing again. So I polished a good bit with the rubbing compound. Now I'm going to use the scratch remover to see if I can get an even shinier coat. Got some soap and water. It is pretty shiny. But the problem is, it's like air bubbles. They're like, I think when I shook the clear coat in that mason jar, I think that's what caused those like micro bubbles or whatever. I mean, the paint job looks terrific, but uh, there's just those tiny little, tiny little bubbles, which is really frustrating. But overall though, it looks pretty good, I think. Um, I'm going to let it dry for, for overnight and then we'll come back to it in the morning. So I got the fuel level sensor right there. It actually unplugs. So I got it in place. Now I'm going to put this piece back in. So I got all the mounting hardware back on. So I'm about to throw it up onto the bike. So I'm going to hook a fuel line. Electrical. But before I finish seating the new tank, I'm going to repair the old air box. I got my plastic welding gun. I'm just gonna press the trigger. It's gonna heat up the tip. And if I wanted to clean it up, I could, but it's gonna be covered up so it's not that big of a deal. But that will no longer suck in air from up here. Now I'm gonna put some fuel in it. Make sure it's not leaking. It's definitely leaking. It's leaking, but let's see if it fires up. So that is actually it for this video. I appreciate y'all watching. In the next video, I'm probably gonna work on the gas cap. It's got some deep scarring in it from the wreck. 
and then I'm going to sand it down and then Cerakote it so it looks good to put on this tank and then we'll work on the fairings.